Hey everybody, Gino here with Gino's Best TV Finale Reviews, and I'm here to talk to you guys about the animated Max HBO Max TV show, Kite Man, hell yeah. All right, so the season just ended on Thursday. I finally got to watch the finale, and I wanted to let you guys know I really enjoyed this show. It's based on a spinoff from the Harley Quinn animated TV show, where Kite Man was one of the funniest, if not the funniest characters. <laughs> Bane's the funniest, but Kite Man is a close second. He was always somebody that I wanted to see more of. You'd feel for him. I wasn't even really sure if he was a villain or a hero. Obviously, he's a villain. So they gave him his own spinoff. First thing I noticed when I started watching the show is the animation style felt slightly altered from the Harley Quinn animated TV show, which, by the way, the Harley Quinn show is absolutely amazing. If you haven't checked that out, go check it out. You don't need to have seen that show to watch Kite Man Hell Yeah, but I definitely feel like it would give you more of a well-rounded understanding and idea of what the characters have gone through to lead to this point. So you start off with Kite Man and Golden Glider. They are together in a relationship, and they buy a bar, Noonan's, which is, I believe it's featured in Harley Quinn animated show as well. This show does a great job introducing us to new characters, characters I've never even heard of before. It also does a great job building upon characters that we've seen in the universe and have seen in DC before. So that all was really well done. A few of the voice actors and actresses changed from the Harley Quinn show to Kite Man Hell Yeah. Was it distracting? For like a second. And then you kind of move forward. There's 10 episodes in the season. I respect anything that gives us more than eight episodes, so I'm a, I'm on board with that. I appreciate anything that happens where I'm laughing. I found myself laughing throughout. I found myself thinking about real life and interpersonal relationships that I experienced because of this show. There were a few episodes where I thought were lower on the totem pole as far as humor and you know, my investment in the story that they were telling, but as a season, as on this, on the whole, as a season, this is a show that almost needs to be binge watched. They, this as a, an animated show really picks up the story each episode and it relies on your information and knowledge from the previous episode or episodes. It releasing week to week is a great idea. However, unfortunately, sometimes I'd forget some of the plot points they didn't do previously on which I don't know that they necessarily need to do. Some of the episodes that relied on previous knowledge would give us that knowledge in the in the new episode. So it wasn't like, oh, I missed it. It was almost like a refresher. So it was like half of a previously on, but it wasn't. It was just like conversations that characters were having. So I thought it did a great job with the characters, the voice acting, the story, and the humor. Bane, again, just proves that he's one of the funniest characters in television right now. Yes, I know that it's on streaming, but either way, I think he's one of the funniest characters out there, especially if you know anything about the Batman lore and all of the things that we've seen, the movies and the TV shows and the and the animated stuff. They do a really great job with that. They introduced, again, me to some new characters that I didn't even know existed, and I found myself really invested in pretty much all of those new characters. It was a great job. Uh, Helen Villigan, the owner of the Villigan's Pub, which is a competing restaurant bar with Noonan's, she, I don't know if she was created for the show or not, I could see her up there once James Gunn, bring, if he decides to bring her into the new DCU, I think that she could rival Lex Luthor and some of these other high uh, high positions of leadership, high IQ, threatening through their brain and intelligence, powerless type of villains. So she was really well done. Queen of Fables, I think her, and she was in the Harley Quinn show, I think that what she's done with her storybook and how she brings children's stories to life in really vicious and, and hilarious ways is, is really well done. Guys, I think this show's enjoyable. Very well done. I'm looking forward to the next season. I'm looking forward to the next season of the Harley Quinn animated show. There's something about adult humor animation that just has always appealed to me ever since Family Guy and South Park got their hooks in me when I was really young. So it's very much in that vein. Guys, give it a shot. I think you'll enjoy it. I really hope you do. 
whatever you think, let me know in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.